this is me. I'm a huge Frida Kahlo fan. You know, she's the original queen of selfies. So I do a lot of, you know, self-portraits. And clearly this is me. Uh, I'm in my head a lot. And what do we think about all the time? Sex, lies, life, love. Oh my God, this is kind of bad, but you know, this was clearly initial something. So my journey to being an artist uh, has been an interesting one, right? Um, I grew up in North Long Beach. Um, I went to Jordan High School in Long Beach. I went to Long Beach City College and then I transferred across to Long Beach. So my artist uh, trajectory started here in, in, in the city, which I am always repping. You know, drawing has always been the thing that I knew how to do, right? I was bad at sports. I was, you know, learning English because I was born in Mexico. Uh, learning English was, you know, a struggle, but I always knew how to draw. And at an early age, I discovered that I could communicate through uh, drawing. Like, I was always the student in the back of the room who would, like, be drawing the teacher. And then the other kids would be like, damn fool, you know how to draw, let's be friends. And so like, I think, you know, I learned that, you know, I could communicate through art. And so um, the fact that I get to like do it, like that's kind of my, you know, career, you know, one of the many things that I do, it's beautiful. And, you know, it's it was because of, I had a lot of support from people who saw something in me. They, they kept pushing me to, you know, to be on that creative uh, journey. The way that I would describe my art is the way that I kind of introduce myself. You know, I'm, I'm undocumented and I'm queer and being part of those communities, right? The immigrant community and, and the LGBT plus community has informed a lot of the work that I do because, you know, I'm a kid of the 90s and although there was a lot of, the, I, I think there was like a lot of beginning of representation in the media, I still felt that there could have been more things, you know, to be said about our communities. On the immigrant side, I think a lot of the times we were portrayed as, look at this, immigrants coming over and taking our jobs. And the LGBTQ uh, side of me, a lot of the representation that I was seeing on TV was very white, right? And so it was, a, I, think, I think it was great that, you know, we were being talked about or even, you know, media being created, especially like in the queer media. But I think I want, I had more, you know, I'm like my story as a, as a, as a queer kid growing up in Long Beach, um, you know, being an immigrant, um, you know, gave me a lot of challenges, but it also made me very resilient and very creative, right? And so I just put that into my art, right? And so being part of this larger movement of, you know, in the mid 2000s, we saw a lot of undocumented immigrants um, coming out of the shadows was called, you know, when you, they were saying, if you're going to talk about undocumented immigrants, you need to see us as people, not as uh, numbers. I draw a lot of femmes, a lot of women, a lot of, you know, femme presenting folks. I think, you know, being a, a gay boy, you know, now a gay man, um, women were always sort of like there for me. You know, they were always like, you know, there's always that homophobic boy who wants to like, you know, call you names. And there were always girls who, you know, had my back. So that you'll see a lot of, a lot of, a lot of girls, um, you know, in my, in my artwork. It's who I'm around, you know, it's, it's, you know, my mom, my sister, you know. My uncle was like the first gay man that I ever met. He had a huge impact in my life. My dream was to, um, do a project together, work on something together, because um, I never officially came out to my uncle, but then unfortunately he passed away. And when he passed away, my aunt sent me a bunch of photos of him. Um, you know, and he was also undocumented and queer, and he lived through this big, you know, crisis that affected a lot of gay men in the late 80s and big in the 90s. Um, and I never got to talk to him about it. You know, like, so 2013, 2016, 2007, what is this year? 2001, 2011. Growing up, because of my undocumented status, 
thinking about the future was tough because I'm like, well, I didn't get deported today, you know? Um, but now that I'm, you know, leaving my 30s and sort of looking back, I'm like, Julio, you were able to do this with the, you know, with limited resources and, you know, the things that life throws at you. So, A, continue to live day by day like it's the last one. And if I'm gonna create something, like, I don't wanna double, you know, guess myself and just throw myself at it, right? So, like, the future is me going at it with, like, an uh, open mind and just continue to be creative, right? Learn from the things of the past, right? And and take that to the future, right? I wanna publish a book. I wanna, you know, do so many things that I know they're possible um, if I put my mind to it. And also knowing that there's a big community out there who, you know, is supporting me and who loves the, the work that I do. So I am hopeful for the future because I have to be hopeful for the future. <laughs>